Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Simone here. Today I'm going to be doing the ultimate Harry Potter tag, which I believe was originally created by Tessa Netting. Um, I'll link her channel and her video down below because I really loved it. I have done a Harry Potter tag before, but I think I deleted it because it was one of my like really old videos. Um, and so I thought I would do this one because... As we all know, I love Harry Potter. So yeah, this I think has like five sections and each section has some different questions. It's not all book related, so I'm very excited. Let's get started. So the first five questions are in the general section. So the first question is, which is your favourite book? My favourite book from the Harry Potter series is definitely Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. The Goblet of Fire has so much action in it. I really like the um, Triwizard Tournament. It obviously has the... Um, Quidditch match or Quidditch Cup World Cup in the beginning of it which I really love and I just really enjoy this and also it's the first one of the kind of bigger books and I just love getting more and more into the world of Hogwarts and the Wizarding World so yeah I really really love this particular book. Question number two is your least favourite book and although I love all of them there is one that when I automatically think what is my least favourite this is the one um, and it is the um, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I don't know if it's just because I've read it so many times. I think the first one has that like nostalgia because it is the first one but this one I don't know about something about it just I don't love it. Also I think it's just because I really don't like the character of Gilderoy Lockhart so I don't like this one because he's in it. <laughs> I do love this book still though, like I said, they're all five stars to me, but yeah, this particular one um, is my least favourite of the seven. Question number three is, which one is your favourite movie of the set? I have the book to show which one it is, but it is um, Deathly Hallows Part 2. Um, I love the kind of ending and the finale to um, the whole series, and I love the like, love the battle in it. Um, obviously I'm not going to go any further into it in case you haven't read it. I'm sure most people have or seen it. Um, but yeah, definitely the second part. I didn't love the first part of it, um, just because I thought it was a bit slow, but obviously they're trying to like build up to it, I suppose. So yeah. Yeah, definitely the second Deathly Hallows movie for me. Question number four is which was your least favourite movie? And my least favourite movie is actually the Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban movie just because I don't love the like repetitiveness of the time travel element in the third book. Um, possibly also one of the reasons why I did not like The Cursed Child bit of a spoiler there. Uh, however, yeah, it's just the time travel bit I don't really love and I feel like I'm watching the same movie like three times over. So personally, I did not love it. I think it was done better in the book, um, but maybe that's just because I'm reading it and you can kind of imagine it yourself as opposed to seeing it in the flesh. So yeah, really, really, I still love the movie. I just, it wasn't my favourite. It wasn't my favourite. Question number five is, what is your favourite quote? And for me, it's very simple. I love Ron and my favourite quote is probably when he says, bloody hell, talking about the um, spiders when he sees um, Aragog. I just love it. I think Ron in general, anything he says is hilarious, but yeah, that particularly just made me laugh a lot. <laughs> the second section is characters. Um, so question number six is your favourite Weasley and I can't pick one, to be honest I love them all, but my two favourites, I'm being a bit cheating here, um, are definitely Molly Weasley, the mum. I love Molly, I think she's so funny, she stands up for her kids, she's quite strict still and I just think she's Harry's like pseudo mum and I think I just love her so much. And I also love Ron as I mentioned, Ron is just, I don't know if it's to do with Rupert Grint, or if it's just Ron in general, but there's something about him that I find really endearing and I love. So yeah, definitely Ron and Molly. Question number seven is your favourite female character. And although there are lots to choose from, I think my favourite has to be Professor McGonagall. I think McGonagall is just so loyal and trusting and I just think she's amazing. There's just something about her that I feel like if I was in her school and in her class, I'd just feel really safe and like really kind of like understood. Um, so yeah, I definitely think that McGonagall is my favourite female character. Question number eight is your favourite villain. And again, there's lots of them, but my favourite has always been Bellatrix Lestrange. I think she's just, I think it's also the way that Helena Bonham Carter plays her, because I do think that she has a really good grasp on the character, and there's just something very kind of likeable about her, even though she's an evil character. So yeah, I think she's definitely my favourite. Question number nine is your favourite male character, and for me that has to be Sirius Black. I have always loved the character of Sirius Black right from the third book, and I love how, like... 
he and Harry get to have that relationship and it's just a little bit heartbreaking so yeah I love Sirius I think he's also really it's really funny to see like his sarcastic side and I think that's really great and I love his relationship with Lupin as well which is really lovely so yeah Sirius is my favourite male character. Question number 10 is your favourite professor and other than McGonagall I don't want to repeat myself so my favourite professor probably is Professor Flitwick. Um, I love Flitwick I just think he's really like cute and sort of I don't know there's just something about him that's just really happy-go-lucky and I think that's great so yeah I love Flitwick. The third section is the would you rather section so question number 11 is would you rather wash Snape's hair or spend a day listening to Lockhart rant about himself as I've said before I really don't like Lockhart so I would rather wash Snape's hair I feel like that could be a good bonding session for the two of us We'll see. <laughs> Question number 12, I'm obviously reading these off my phone, sorry about that. Question number 12 is, would you rather duel an elated Bellatrix or an angry Molly? And I've said an elated Bellatrix because I think Molly would definitely crush me. I think when Molly's angry, she's, nothing will stop her. And I feel like I could find a way to like dent Bellatrix's pride or something and find a way to kind of get in there. So I think I would definitely rather duel her. Question number 13, would you rather travel to Hogwarts via a Hogwarts Express or a flying car? I'm going to say Hogwarts Express. I would love to have that like experience and have the like witch on the train bringing you little treats and enjoying the thing. I think a flying car, something about it's terrifying. Uh, also, I don't really want to fall out the door like Harry did, so... Yeah, I'm going to say the Hogwarts Express. Question number 14, would you rather kiss Voldemort or give Umbridge a bubble bath? I don't know why I find this question so funny. I'm going to say I'd rather give Umbridge a bubble bath because, I don't know, she's very pink, so I feel like she'd like pink bubbles, and I could enjoy the bath. Um, when it says give her a bubble bath, like, I'm not, like, rubbing, like, lotion into her or anything. Like, that's not happening. But I would sit in the prefect's bathroom, you know, like, the big one, um, so I could be as far away from her as possible, and then if she annoyed me, I could drown her. It's quite vicious, that, wasn't it? I'm going with it anyway then. <laughs> and question number 15 is, would you rather ride a hippogriff or ride a firebolt? I think I would rather ride a firebolt just because I'd have control over it. I feel like riding an animal. I've ridden a horse once and it was a very scary sort of situation for me because I think it's just because you know that this thing has a life of its own and could do whatever it wanted to. So I would rather ride a firebolt because I could be in control of it, I guess. Although I don't ride a car, so who knows if that would be a good idea or not. You can tell I don't um, drive a car because drive a car, not ride a car, Simone. Come on. So this fourth section is the book to movie adaptation section. So question 16 is, is there a character which you felt differently about in the movies versus the books? There was a few, I think, but the main one for me was Lee Jordan, um, Fred and George Weasley's friend. I think in the books he's a little bit annoying. <laughs> Um, and you don't really get like a fleshed out version of my space because it's not really he doesn't have a massive personality in the um in the books whereas in the film they've really kind of because he's the commentator at like the quidditch matches and things i just feel like you get to see more of him and i really enjoy his personality and i think he bounces off fred and george really easily and really well yeah i think he's the answer for that question for me question number 17 is there a movie you preferred instead of the book and for that one I'm going to go with Chamber of Secrets again, as I just said a minute ago, this is my least favourite book. Um, so I did enjoy the movie more just because I think the actual chamber is sort of difficult to imagine yourself. But having watched the movie I think it was done really well, so personally I probably prefer the movie to the book on this one. But only very, very slightly. Question number 18, Richard Harris or Michael Gambon as Dumbledore? And as much as I like Michael Gambon, Richard Harris will always be Dumbledore in my eyes. He was my original Dumbledore and I've, I'm very sad that he passed away during the making. I think it was he in two movies or three? But I absolutely love him. Iconic, I think. So I did love Michael Gambon 100%, but I think for me, Richard Harris was already Dumbledore, so it was difficult for him to like step into his shoes. Question number 19, your top thing, person or event, which wasn't included in the movie that annoyed you most? Okay, Neville's backstory. The fact, his family, I don't think it's really included that much. They mention it, but it's not like made a thing of. Also, the fact that Neville was the one that found the gillyweed to help Harry in the Goblet of Fire, not Dobby. Dobby is the one who finds it in the movie. Um, and that really kind of annoys me because I feel like Neville, you don't get to see his like 
amazing skill at herbology. You only see Neville as this kind of bumbling guy who doesn't really know what he's doing ever, but he's actually like a genius at herbology and like becomes the herbology professor 19 years later or whatever it is. So I feel like I wish I'd saw more of Neville because then I'd like him more. I do like Neville, I love him actually, but I think that you would be even more like wanting to like hug him if you knew that I think. Question number 20, if you could remake any of the Potter movies which would it be? So predictably it would be Prisoner of Azkaban, as I said this is probably my least favourite of the um, movies and I think that I would remake the kind of time turner element to this just because like I said it to me it was quite repetitive and I didn't love it so this is probably the one I would remake if I could. Not that I think I could do much better to be honest. <laughs> The fifth section is all about Hogwarts. So question 21 is, which house was your first gut feeling that you'd be a part of? Honestly, I thought I was gonna be a Ravenclaw because they're very sort of studious and they like to read and that's kind of me in a personality. Um, so I always thought it was gonna be Ravenclaw. Question number 22, which house were you actually sorted into on Pottermore? I am a Hufflepuff. Um, I very much love being a Hufflepuff. I think a lot of the time it's kind of seen as the house to sort of, I don't know, I feel like it's seen as like the dud house, but for me, Hufflepuffs are the best, and I know a lot of people now on BookTube uh, who are Hufflepuffs, and I am, I am glad to be part of the crew. <laughs> Question number 23, which class would be your favourite? I had to think about this, and to be honest with you, I think I'd love it, all of them, but the one I feel like I would like to do the most is probably Herbology. I think it would be really interesting to like be in the greenhouses and see all the different plants and stuff. I feel like that could be quite exciting, so... That one is the one I would go for. Question number 24, which spell do you think would be most useful to learn? I said Lumos, um, although we have our phones with our torches on, I feel like it would always be handy if you didn't have your phone with you. You could light up the room. So yeah, I think that would be a really good one. Question number 25, which character at Hogwarts do you think you'd instantly become best friends with? Initially I was gonna say Nymphadora Tonks because I think she's great and I would love to be her best friend. However, then I realized that she's not really at Hogwarts so I don't know that that would count. So I went with Ginny Weasley because I love Ginny. I think she's great. I think um, book Ginny is much better than movie Ginny. Although I love the girl that plays her. I forget what her name is in real life. Uh, but I absolutely, oh Bonnie, Bonnie Wright. Um, I love, love, love um, Bonnie Wright as Ginny. I think she's great, but I think that the way, the, probably the lines that she was given, it didn't like have the same feeling for me. I suppose that's another one that I felt differently about book and movie. But I love Ginny and I would like to be her best friend. And then the last section is the miscellaneous section. So question 26, if you could own one of the three Hallows, which would it be? I would like to own the Resurrection Stone. I'm not really interested in having like superpower and I'm not that interested in being invisible, but I would love to have the Resurrection Stone to be able to bring back my sort of friends and family that have passed away. And I'd also like to bring back my dogs because that would be cool. So yeah, the Resurrection Stone, definitely. Question 27, is there any aspect of the books you'd want to change? This can be a character, event, anything. For me, it's the house point system. I would like to change that because for me, I think it's just, it's very inconsistent. Like you can get five points for this and like 20 points for that, but there's no like reason behind it. It's just up to the, um, like the professors and I think well they're a bit biased because they are all in a particular house. So that's what I would change. I would make it more like linear a bit structured that way. <laughs> Question 28, who is your favourite marauder? Definitely Sirius Black, as I mentioned, Sirius Black is like one of my favourite characters, so yeah, definitely him. <laughs> Question 29, if you could bring one character back to life, which would it be? Sirius Black. <laughs> And question number 30, Hallows or Horcruxes? Definitely Hallows. I think Horcruxes are a scary concept and I don't really want to have to kill anyone to make them. So yeah, I'm going to say Hallows. And then it's up to tagging. So I tag anybody that wants to do it, but I have three particular tags that I would like to give this time. So the first person I would like to tag is Mylis from Mylis Reads. Um, I would also like to tag Laura from what everyone else is reading. And then thirdly, I would like to tag Amanda from Amanda Reads. So yeah, let me know in the comments below. Let me know in the comments down below who your favourite villain is from Harry Potter. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.